I am proud that when I came in, I saw on the floor a toy that clearly your son wants to play with, and it was Minnie Mouse. Yeah, he likes Minnie Mouse a lot. I like that. He likes them all. Mickey Mouse is his favorite. Mickey's his favorite? No, like the crew of yeah. Mickey Mouse. Okay. He's obsessed. Really? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid rags and you did some Corbin. Ha uh ha, -huh. I'm Rick. Ho ho ho. Hiya Pluto. Uh, today we're doing, this is an interesting video. This is called Best Ancient Eating Habits by Dr. Oh my God, yes. Hansaji. So she explains a lot of um, so many cultures. Best and, Ancient Eating Habits. So many cultures and uh, so many beautiful, or, uh, there's so many beautiful and different ways uh, conducting their lives. An ancient way of eating in India is pretty special and has entire science behind it. Hmm. So she explains, obviously we know how a lot of Indians eat, obviously, not all, because we've, we, you know, because people's like, all Indians eat with their hands, but right. they don't always eat with their no, hands as well. Exactly. <laughs> but I know that's a- In a, fact, I can tell you the difference I saw definitively having been the, to the different cities, mm -hmm. and it, this may just have been my experience, but there was a much bigger proportion of people eating with their hands in Calcutta, Bengali. It probably also depends on the other what cities. style of restaurant you're going to as well. I think so. Like the five-star restaurant we went to, right. they were eating with utensils. It's going to be very, very different. Uh, so I, I guess it's a little different that way, but she, she's going to explain some of it. So. <laughs> Yogi Institute. Namaskar. 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 Decoding Indian ways of eating food is a very, very complex subject to understand. The world is experimenting new, new foods, new recipes, new combinations, and new styles of consuming it to make it more aesthetically beautiful. But hardly they know that they are breaking the age-old science of perfect and healthy eating. How we eat is equally important as what we eat. Our ancestors have passed on to us the right recipes, the like right that. ways to eat, and the right ways of making it. It's time that we start acknowledging it, its science and its significance. Food <laughs> is a function of many variables. Season geography, local availability, attitude, and body type. But we hardly pay attention to the medium and the ways in which we consume it. And this is our topic of focus today, right medium of food consumption. That too, Indian ways. Number one, eating with hands. In this aesthetically driven modern world, some consider eating food with ants to be unhygienic and unpleasant. They consider eating with spoon and other gadgets is more comfortable. Gadgets. They are used to that and they would like to do that. According to Ayurvedic tradition, eating food should involve all senses. The touch of food to your fingers and the feeling of its texture can really trigger the nerve endings of your fingers. It can trigger are connected to your That's for sure. These nerve stimulations are known to activate and stimulate your digestive juices. Also, according to Ayurveda, these five fingers represent five constituents of food. Thumb represents fire, agni. Four finger, air, vayu. Middle finger, akash, ether. Ring finger, earth, prithvi, and little finger represents water, jal. Holding food with all the five fingers is like a good mudra. It symbolizes the union of all elements, which are essential for the normal functioning of our body. So don't be embarrassed by eating food with your hands. Show to the world the right way of eating, gotcha. the Indian way. 
Number two, sitting on the floor. In India, sitting on the floor and eating together is a family activity. You understand? In yoga, they say that sitting on the floor involves so many muscles. You see, eating food in sitting position presses the lower spine and relaxes the whole body. The back and forth movement while eating mm -hmm. gives nice compression to your abdomen. And this stimulates the release of digestive juice. The compression is maximum in sitting position. Like sitting like in this. chair brings more pressure on your heart. When you are sitting on chair, your heart has to really pump blood from toe upwards against gravity. And that is a strain. I would say that even on chair, if you bring your both legs up and sit, you would be reducing the gravity force and that would help your heart and the general health condition. So more blood is facilitated for more digestion. Sitting posture is naturally a yoga posture by itself. It has a calming effect on your mind. When yes. the individual sits on the floor, the nervous system also performs better. And the transmission of signals happens very and easily. And grounds you to the earth. Very effectively. As a result, sitting on the floor and eating has a huge weight reduction advantage. So, sit and enjoy your meals. Third, relation between food and vessels, patra. Indian culture has really studied the effect of different food on different vessels. These vessels can have positive or even negative effect on your food. In Indian tradition, every vessel has its own advantage in cooking or in storing food. Copper has a strong intoxication property over water. That is why copper vessel was used for storing the water right from the beginning in India. Another example, ghee, if stored in a bronze vessel, can become toxic. That is why ghee is stored in a metal vessel. And now the metal available is steel. So now with us, we have steel vessel. So ghee should be stored in steel vessel. In Mine, olden in time, fruits yeah. used to be kept in the, the leaves, <laughs> covered with leaves and they would always remain healthy. Stones were used in olden times for crushing. Hey, uh, I deeply apologize for what just happened. We finished the video and this hasn't happened in a long, long time. A long time. Uh, but apparently my storage was full and uh, you missed the second half of that video. So do, please do watch it so that you can yeah, see. We, we pretty much sat just silently. Yeah, yeah, you didn't miss, you didn't miss much uh, in terms of our reaction, but all. Um, yeah, I, we loved the video. I thought I thought the video was great. But uh, we did point out, yeah, that <laughs> one thing wasn't mentioned. Yeah, they, she said all your senses, including was, your smell. smell. Yeah, <laughs> and nothing negative was said about smelling your food before you eat it. It's supposed to be done it's with all your all senses. your senses. So if you're supposed to use your hands to eat it, I'm sure you're supposed to be smelling what you eat. I'd assume so. I would think you should be. That's why I that. smell your. Wow, hold on. That was good. Uh, uh, one of the things, I don't know if, if it's in this, what we watched, but in her video, she mentioned about eating in silence. Mm -hmm. And what I've noticed, and I don't like it when this happens, is I can be really busy and stop to get something to eat. And while I'm eating, I'm doing stuff on my phone, I'm talking to somebody, and then I'm done eating and I realize I didn't even really taste what I was eating. Mm. And I, I don't like it when that happens because yeah. I love food and I do feel a sense of like, it's not guilt, but it's a sense of, wow, I, food isn't just to hork it down and get me to survive. I missed that opportunity and forgetting, especially here in America, you grow up, I've never been hungry. You mm. know what I mean? I, I don't know hunger. Not real hunger, yeah. Exactly. I don't know what it means to go to bed at night and you haven't eaten for two days, though you wanted to, because you can't. Anytime I've been hungry, it's been by my choice. Mm -hmm. So we are so blessed to be able to eat. And I think we do take for granted, I mean, we eat like crap in America. Oh, yeah. We really do. So I think she's, yeah. I think she's great. She, she was great. Real sweet. I do apologize once again for the video uh, cutting off. Um, 
That's all I can say. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> but if you'd like to finish the rest of the video, uh, I'll link it in the description below. Uh, let us know one of the videos we can react to down below. Josh!